Hi everyone, I'm Janelle Bonter and welcome to New York. Right now I'm in Upper Manhattan at Morningside Park in the historic neighborhood of Harlem. Now if you live in a big metropolitan city like this, chances are you're always on the go with little time to really relax. And if you're planning that romantic getaway with your special boo, or you want to bring the entire family and your friends along for your big wedding day, it can be challenging creating that intimate experience in a concrete jungle. No worries, I have the perfect solution for you. Why not plan a romantic Caribbean getaway? It's a lot easier than you think. Today we're going to check in with the experts at the Caribbean Romance Pavilion, an initiative by the Caribbean Tourism Organization during their annual Caribbean Week conference in New York. Now there's no wedding like a wedding salon wedding and with me is Tatiana. She is the wedding expert extraordinaire here today at the Romance Pavilion. Tatiana, thanks for joining us. Thank you. It's great to be here. What's the glamorous, uh, luxurious option if you're planning a destination wedding in the Caribbean? Gosh, I mean, there's so many incredible hotels in the Caribbean that people just don't necessarily know about because they haven't been to. There are large hotels, there are small hotels, there are all-inclusive hotels, there are, there are private yacht rentals that you can do. So, And the Caribbean is so close. You can literally be door-to-door -door within three to four hours, you know, of certain places like Bahamas and, you know, Turks and Caicos. And, and so it's, it's pretty amazing to me if you want to plan a destination wedding or even a honeymoon uh, to choose a Caribbean destination. And then of course you have the option to have your wedding in one island and your honeymoon in another island. A hundred percent. That's what that makes the beauty of it. Or you can do it even in one place. You do your wedding and then you stay for your honeymoon. Or you can island hop and or go to a different place altogether. And what's been your experience planning destination weddings in the region? You know, I, I find that de destin destination weddings in general in the Caribbean have been incredibly soulful. You know, they're, they're usually not these big, grand, crazy affairs. You usually have a lot of intimate friends and family, and the budgets can be 30000 to $10 million, but they still are very, very, very intimate. And if you're on the beach, ladies, you can take those uncomfortable shoes off. <laughs> That's right. I mean, th there's something really special about having your ceremony with the sun setting on the beach. And if you want to walk down the aisle barefoot, you can. Right. So really quickly, what are the top three components you need to think about if you're planning a Caribbean destination wedding? Well, number one, the time frame involved. It always takes longer. If you're dealing with local vendors, you know, it just, you have to give people enough time to get things into the country. Because sometimes if you want a specific flower, everything is brought in. You're on an island, you know, so timing is very important. Two, weather. You know, you, you always have to have a rain plan, and a lot of times in these, you have these beautiful resorts, but there isn't always a rain plan, so you might need to bring in a tent, but you always have to think about a rain plan, because sometimes even the two-second shower can, you know... Spoil everything. <laughs> yes, it can ruin your ten beautiful tables right. with flowers, you know. And I would say um, the, third, the third thing that's really important is to, to remember that you are not in a big city and you know to try and, and and really be prepared and think through things in advance so that when you get there if you forgot the veil you know it's a specific fabric that you're not going to be able to run to a local store and get it yeah and finally i know a lot of ladies have done the do-it-yourself thing they've sold you through even though they had a budget and wanted to plan their own wedding uh, what's the difference or the benefits between do it yourself or hiring a wedding planner like yourself I, I honestly think, especially doing um, a destination wedding, unless you're going to an all-inclusive resort and you really, um, you know, and you, you, you are not very particular and you're okay with the resort, just doing what they normally do, um, then you really should have a planner. You really want someone to have your back. Think of the planner as a personal assistant. And whatever money you're going to end up spending on the planner, that planner will save you in the long run. Yes because the planner knows how to negotiate, and the planner also makes sure that the people you hire show up, and that the bands you know, are wearing a certain thing, and the bands are 
have time to rehearse and they come in to rehearse. You know, and that's just one example. But I, I really think that at the end, it saves you money versus spending your money. If things don't go the way you want them to and or you, you, you want that person that you can say, help me with this or do this or do that. And uh, you know, the, the, while the venue planners are, are, are there to assist you, usually that person is not on site for the wedding. And they're certainly not there at four in the morning when you need something. All right, folks, you heard it from the experts. So if you're planning that luxurious wedding, go to WeddingSalon.com and find out how it's done. Thank you for talking to me. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Coming up on Dial-In Exclusive.